Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a U.S. News Update. Today's date, December 17, 2023, about 12 noon Texas time. Some of the things we'll be covering. IEDs at the Texas southern border. CERN and Planet X, will we see it soon? And your title to your truck and your deed to your house. What's up with that? And is your kid eating bugs? Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscriber, Gene Decode, Hal Turner, Paul Begley, and Mike from around the world. Dr. William Mount, Israeli News Live with Stephen Benoon. Plus, so let's get started. So I have some Patriot subscribers, and I'd like to say thank you to Rose's Rags and the McCons of Pulsher, Texas, for support of my channel. And now I'm getting this about the chemtrails. Um, and I see them myself at very heavy in Texas. And uh, the same reports are coming out from Connecticut, Michigan, Montana. And in Montana, this Patriot subscriber says, we the people should stand up and say no, no more. And I have a Patriot subscriber uh, saying, I believe those chemtrails, one of the reasons could be they're trying to block us from seeing things in the sky. I have another Patriot subscriber about the chemtrails. Uh, hands calm. Air Force Base, located in Bedford, Massachusetts. Every sunny day, uh, you know, then the next day we have these heavy chemtrails. But the pilots uh, at Hascom Air Force Base are told they're doing the um, chemtrails because it's to block the sun from... Um, generating so much uh, uh, radiation from the sun. Now I have a Facebook uh, subscriber who says, uh, it's talking about the Morgellons and the chemtrails. And I'll be covering that more in a later episode. So yeah, we've got those chemtrails going. Now, let me draw a map of the U.S. And we'll talk about some things that are going on. So we're already seeing in, so we've got Florida, Texas, California, and we're seeing Montana, Michigan, Connecticut, Texas, uh, reports just this week. But I get these reports about heavy chemtrails in a lot of locations. Now, We've been hearing about the CCP, the Chinese military, and terrorists coming across our southern border in Texas. Now, Dr. William Mao says this week uh, the Mexican military inside Mexico, I guess they had some intel, seized 10 IEDs, uh, improvised explosive devices, or homemade bombs that were coming over the border. Yeah, we believe it. Now, Mike from around the world is regularly on Pastor Paul Bedley's Thursday night program. We believe Mike works for the NSA. Mike knows stuff. Says, so Mike from around the world. He's saying, and this was Dr. William Mount, this report, because they both all get intel. Most of the people I use as sources uh, generally are getting some up-to-date intel. Okay, so Mike from around the world says 33,000 I identified, you know, the U.S. government, that certainly the NSA, uh, they can do facial recognition on most people. I had a Patriot subscriber who says, it's so creepy. I go to the bank, I pull up, and, and then I pull up to the uh, window, 
you have to pass it, like cameras here and then you pull up to the window to make a deposit or get money and they greet me by name because uh, obviously they've engaged facial recognition so at any rate the government according to Mike from around the world has identified 33 terrorists who are identified as terrorists in other nations coming across the border now some positive information came out from Jean Decode that does make sense to me. We know it's the deep state. Uh, we currently have the face of JB, the actor wearing a mask. KH is a double. And many in Congress are also compromised. So they're letting in these individuals. Now, Gene Decode brings this out that President Trump and the U.S. military uh, who are recognizing President Trump as Commander-in-Chief and uh, the good uh, individuals and uh, government agencies have also identified uh, and know who is coming across our border. Not only that, but they are embedded in these groups coming across and thus, we'll know where they are and what they have. Now, that seems logical to me. So, that's a po I find that very positive. Uh, that's uh, not to dismiss the possibility that we, the American uh, citizen patriots, may have to engage in some kind of Red Dawn event. So, that's going on. Now what we're going to talk about is Planet X. I know a lot of people uh, don't think uh, Planet X is, you know, something real. Or So I'll give you my background. I was a science major, life of science, and I'm familiar with uh, extinction level events happening now. About 50 to 12,000 years ago, this was Atlantis. Um, there was an extinction level event. Uh, the God took them out uh, because they were engaging in genetic manipulation. God created a new Adam and Eve. We had during the time of Noah, we had a second extinction level event for the same reason, genetic manipulation. It was the fallen angels who made it with humans. They made the Nephilim and then down through uh, the uh, years they became the 13 bloodline families ruling earth. Many royals come from this group. Uh, many leaders of many governments, leaders of major, especially global corporations. So the ones we're most familiar with are Rothschild and Rockefeller. But these are until they mated with humans and gained 52% human DNA at that point in time uh, when the baby is born it has a physical body, has a soul. My perspective is from God it ha also has a soul which is a mind, will, emotions, but it also, a 52% human DNA, has the Spirit of God. And it's the Spirit of God that's born again, then combines with our soul after we receive Jesus, who many call Yeshua as our Messiah, Savior, King. So we had Jesus, uh, who many call uh, Yeshua, uh, also born after this. So we see God does engage in extinction level events typically uh, for the purpose of wiping out genetic manipulation and these individuals uh, like these fallen angels mated with humans, they made the Nephilim. Until they have 52% human DNA, they are unredeemable, and they are literally monsters. And uh, I had to see things in my mind. I get that from God, uh, download from God, how they operated 
So I believe they have physical body, they have a soul, but they don't have the Spirit of God. And because they don't have the Spirit of God and receive direct life from God on a daily basis, they consume humans. I got that from God. So now we're talking about Planet X. So there has been, uh, as well recorded in the Earth from many sources, um, we have strata in the Earth. Uh, you can see extinction level events because you'll have maybe one or two or three fossils and next level much more. So you know something happened, but there are also other physical measurements like ice cores, uh, tree rings, detailing and, and documenting from a evidence-based position that there have been extinction level events. Do I think we're facing an extinction level event with this oncoming planet X, this event in space? I do not. I believe we're going into what Benjamin Fulford calls, calls the golden age. And from God, I believe we're going into a period of harvest, at least one billion souls uh, reconciled back to God through their belief in Jesus Christ as their Messiah, Savior, King. Uh, are we going to have effects upon the earth? Are some cities in the U.S. going to be destroyed by meteors, uh, space debris? I see that as a real possibility. And that's based on the prophecy by David Wilkerson, author of the Switch Cross and the Switchblade, who uh, was pastor of a church in downtown New York City for decades that God was calling certain individuals to certain cities, and then he at some point in time is going to take those cities out. I can see that. So at any rate, planet X. So we've got the sun, we've got the earth, and we're beginning to see effects upon the earth. We have uh, our electromagnetic shield down. We're seeing increased activity by the sun. We just saw an X flare 2.8 a few days ago. We're seeing many coronal mass ejections that are also impacting the earth. And uh, I believe that was on December 16. We had short wave and radio signals down for half an hour. We also saw that impact on Con Edison in New York City when the electricity was down in many areas for about 20 minutes. I believe they had a transformer hit. That's the type of effect. And uh, we can see from Planet X impacting the sun and then the Earth soon. So that's going on. And now we have this. We have Mike. From around the world, he's on Pastor Paul Bagley's Thursday night program regularly. We believe Mike works for the NSA. Uh, decades ago, before he really became a Christian, he had a dream. It was about 30 years ago. And it was talking about a binary, a second sun. And Planet X is the term euphemistically used. Uh, for can be planet X, can be a binary, a second sun, and so on. So when we hear planet X, we all have a concept of something in space impacting Earth. So Mike's dream was a binary dark star, and uh, this has been put forth, and I also uh, have a background in astronomy, and that in the past um, and out in the stars, this has been seen. So you have a sun and you have a second sun that revolves around it on a uh, cycle, uh, tens of thousands of years maybe. And then when the other sun is close to it, the dark sun, it draws all the light from the first 
sun. Now, Mike from around the world believes that's what we're going to see. That means we'll have darkness on Earth. Now, he brought out some new information recently that even though uh, the light photons from our sun would be going into the second sun to recharge it, and I also had received that recharge concept from God, that even though the light is going into the second sun, we will still be receiving radiation from the sun, so that means we're, we're not going to be cold on the earth. We'll still be receiving a heat from the sun, so that was new information for me. And Mike from around the world is also talking about the deep state using CERN during this process. And he is, this is new information also, that the second sun is sending out pulses. So it's sending them out, receiving those pulses. And so we know governments around the world uh, know about this uh, incoming object because they're actually receiving pulses from space. And Mike says they're being received at certain government uh, re uh, receptor uh, facilities. One is in West Virginia. One is in New Mexico. One is in Colorado. There's one in Canada. And they are receiving these pulses. So, uh, Mike is getting this information. So, if he puts out some dates or time frame, I would say uh, you'd be good to pay attention because he's privy to these pulses that are coming from this space object and being received inside the U.S. and Canada. So that's going on. And now we have this. Uh, Oh, yeah. So, uh, I'll present some information from Israeli News Live, Stephen Benu, formerly with the CIA, now as a ministry, but regularly gets updates from the Pentagon. Now, one piece of new information he's bringing out is just a couple of days ago, we had 2,000 Air Force activated and deployed. This was about December 12th, so about five days ago. But Stephen did not know what their uh, destination was. He had received information, though, that 2,000 U.S. military in the Air Force were being deployed. And now we'll go with this. We'll talk about uh, information. This is from Mike from Around the World, uh, Gene Decode, uh, Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live talking about CERN. Now CERN is uh, it's underground and it's in the shape of like an oval and this goes on for miles and they have energy and they speed it up. Uh, the cover story was to track neutrinos from space plus but uh, Stephen Benin says it's to do several things, to give us information about Planet X, but also to open portals to like another dimension, uh, an abyss, where these uh, fallen angels uh, plus demons uh, can come to the earth. Now I've read the accounts and I'm familiar with many scientists who worked here at CERN and we understand uh, CERN has several known locations. One, the most famous is in Switzerland. It's on the border between France and Switzerland. But I understand there are about 30 locations all over the earth and 
Well, what's coming out now? This is primarily controlled by the deep state. They're trying to get this energy going and to open a portal to the abyss where fallen angels and demons are located and bring them in. And there have been many scientists who left working at CERN because they gave similar reports and they were afraid. Uh, Stephen says there's two CERN locations in the U.S., one in Antarctica and the most famous on the border between France and Switzerland. So, yeah, what's going on? Now, uh, Stephen is talking about the, uh, these are the fallen angels. They made it with humans. They made the Nephilim. Stephen, uh, Gene DeCode has brought out this. Plus, we have other non-terrestrial species on Earth who are also something like reptilian, and these are reptilian. Now, uh, uh, Kat Kerr had brought this information out that when God created the angels, you know, he had three classifications. Satan and his, his group were uh, basically the choir uh, praise group for God. Then there was a second group under Michael, the war angels, a third group under Gabriel, the scribes, and messenger angels. Kat Kerr's information was that there are different species of angels in each group, and they look different. So this is coming out. Now, this is a non-terrestrial, also uh, reptilian, Draco. Uh, many of the... Uh, Fallen angels look reptilian. We're familiar with that story of Adam and Eve and the serpent, reptilian. But what I got from God was these groups, uh, these Nephilim, these 13 bloodline families, they don't have the spirit of God and they consume humans. Yes, and Stephen Benoon is also saying that. They can also shape shift and do other things. And that's one of the, uh, and includes the Illuminati group. Many groups we've heard about. Now, Peter the Insider, a director of the 12th Division, the ACIO, Avian Contact Intel Organization, uh, a, a division of the NSA, US government, brought this out that uh, the reptilians, the bloodline families, yeah, one of the reasons they engage in incest is to maintain their blood. Now, the second group claims to have blue blood, and that's just because they have more copper than iron. Uh, human blood has a lot of iron. This Non-terrestrial species has more copper, so their blood appears bluish. But these two groups have mated and uh, combined to make up uh, these uh, bloodline families. So he's saying Planet X. Uh, Stephen Benoon is saying that this Planet X that's operating in the ether, another dimension in space, comes in and out. It's also bringing with it entities and giants and monsters. So we see that Planet X would be separate from the binary second sun. Yeah, so that's going on. Now, Stephen is putting this out. That we'll see an increase in meteors, most likely December. So we only have a few more days. Now, Mike from around the world um, was also talking about meteors coming in uh, in January. There are multiple sources now saying we, we may be able to see Planet X um, in the sky, which is what I believe the people in Nineveh when Jonah and the uh, Jonah of the Well story fame went to preach at Nineveh, repent, 
which means to ask God's forgiveness for your sins and stop doing those sins. And then all these people in Nineveh repented. And that was because uh, they could see Planet X in the sky. So we may be seeing it soon. And what God did was hold off the judgment on Nineveh for 140 years until all the people in that generation who had repented had passed away. So God is good. Now we'll talk about uh, some of these things going on in our economy. Apparently there's going to be a big change in our economy. We look at uh, the U.S. and banks, the U.S. stock market, I believe this will happen also on a global basis. It will come down. We know we have more debt than we have income now. Even the interest on the debt is more than the GDP, how much money we're making in a year. So it's only a matter of time. Now we understand the banks have been dealing with what we call fiat currency, paper money. Nothing backing it up. We look forward to this new system coming on. Inside the U.S., it's called Nasara on a global basis. It's called Jasara, where we have real banks backed by gold and silver and tangible assets. While this is going down and into this transition period, which I believe we'll see soon, uh, the deep state is going to try and take back as much as they can. Now, Hal Turner is bringing this out, the great taking. And this is a YouTube documentary. I'll link it for you. And a practical aspect he's talking about is your vehicle title and the deed to your home. And he said, uh, from the documentary, he got that, say you had a truck and you would paid it off, and but you hadn't gone to the tax office to change the title from the lien holder's name, the company you borrowed the money from, and change it to your name. He had several. He in his safe deposit box, and he said next week he's going to change those titles. Well, I could relate to that. A few years ago, I inherited an older truck from a family member, so I went to the tax office to change the title of the truck in my name, add it to my insurance. I had the death certificate, and I had the probated will, but they looked it up, and he had never changed the title. So it was still in the name of the bank from which he had borrowed the money. And I said, oh, I know that's been paid off for years. Uh, praise the Lord. I could find the paperwork in his papers, and then I could go and change the title to my name and take care of that. The same thing would be true of your home. So you've paid it off and you've received the paperwork from your bank. It's paid off. But you haven't gone to the courthouse to change the deed. What Hal Turner is implying is if the these banks still have their name on the title of your vehicle or the de your deed to your home, they can still put a claim on it. And we know they're evil and corrupt. So I present this as a heads up. Now let's talk about, is your kid eating bugs? I found this very interesting. So I had multiple sources on this, uh, including a science-based uh, study on Hal Turner, that if you look on a nutrition label, you should see like calories and how many calories in a serving. You also see the ingredients. And the first ingredient you see is the primary ingredient of that 
food. And then as you go down, there's less and less uh, percentages. Well, this is coming out. If you see E120 or E104, this indicates crushed bugs. And these ingredients are used, um, one is for color, I think one is for flavor. So I looked these up and the E indicates it's an ingredient made primarily in Europe. And you can do a simple search like E120. And what comes up is E120 is a type of beetle. And 104 is a type of uh, 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 bug. Its common name is coconuts. And it's something we can see as a brown clump on cactus plants. Now, I was familiar with the food uh, studies done in Europe. And uh, it, they're very good. And uh, maybe they publish more than the food studies we see in the U.S. I'm not sure, but they do good studies on food, particularly when they are foods for children. And you'll see this in a lot of products for children. I think this makes it sweet, and this gives the red color. But these are bugs. Now, the France, um, the France did studies on the impact of these two bug ingredients on children. And they found it increased hyperactivity, allergies, asthma, and stomach upset. So, just a heads up, to look on the ingredient label of your children's products, and as I said, you can do a search, simple search like this. Or if you're searching for those long science words, I have found if you in the search line just put in the first five letters of that long science sounding word that you'll bring up the information you need. So yeah. It's good to read those labels. And we know, uh, as someone who's been on a diet, that you need to look at the calories and the serving size. I know one time I was going to eat a bag of cookies, 100 calories. And then it dawned on me, because uh, I typically read the ingredients in a product. Oh, yeah, it's for three servings, not the whole bag. Gee. Okay, a short prayer. This is what I've come to think of as my Christmas prayer. Father, we come before you with humble and grateful hearts. We pray for peace and brotherhood in America and around the world during this joyous Christmas season when we celebrate the birth of our Messiah, Savior, King, Jesus, whom many call Yeshua, during this December month of 2023. And we thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, whom many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there, continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.